In this video, I take this live rock and I 3D scan it so I can create a custom base and 3D print out that base to combine 3D printing and live rock to make a unique aquascape for the Fluval Evo 13.5 that I recently rebuilt. The rebuild went really well and this aquascape turns out killer. So watch this video to see the process. Welcome back to IC Live, my name is Mark. So in the last video, I rebuilt the Fluval Evo 13.5 by creating a new stand for it and some new rock work. I didn't want that video to be too long, so I didn't show how I created the aquascape, but that's what we're doing today, so let's dive into it. I start by creating a cardboard template of the base of the tank, so I know where the rock is gonna sit. I'm using this beautiful piece of live rock that I've had for an extremely long time, and this actually recently came out of the 25 gallon cube that I just took down. Now my plan here is to kind of look at the rock, examine it, and then ultimately create something fully custom for it that I can 3D print to make that rock sit exactly how I want it to in the tank. I'm a big fan of like cantilevers and ledges slash shelves, so I kind of want the rock to sit in an angle with a lot of space under it um, and a lot of exposed sand bed, so not too much rock touching the bed. So once I decided on a position that I wanted the rock in, the next step was to go ahead and scan the rock or figure out a way to basically import that rock's geometry into Fusion 360. So to achieve this, I actually utilize an app called Scandi Pro on my iPhone X and what that does is it takes advantage of the true depth sensor, which is the sensor that reads your face when you go to open your phone. This sensor utilizes a bunch of little infrared lasers that it shoots out to then basically bounce off your face and back into the phone sensor to determine depth. It's very similar to like an Xbox Connect in how they figure out what your body is doing when your body's moving. So I have to say, this process is not easy. The first thing I do is I flip over the rock because I'm gonna be putting the base, this 3D print base on the bottom. So obviously I want the geometry of the bottom of the rock and the geometry of the top of the rock doesn't really matter. Now it takes some trial and error, but you have to go very slow and smooth in a circle around the rock. And the app will actually give you feedback if you're going too quickly or your phone angle is not proper. So after about, I'll say three or four tries, I finally got a scan that was usable. Next, I need to take that scan and basically clean it up before I can bring it into Fusion 360. So I bring it into Mesh Mixer, I start cutting away the parts that are not necessary, and then ultimately I close up the scan so it's one solid piece. With everything closed up, I then import that mesh into Fusion 360 and I place the rock how I'd like it to sit in the Fluval Evo 13.5. Once it's set up where I like it, now it's time to just start modeling. So here we go. With the modeling complete, now I'm gonna take the base and I'm gonna go ahead and import that into Mesh Mixer. Now, if you've watched any of my past videos, this is where I'm going to go ahead and apply that Voronoi structure to the surfaces to give it a very kind of coral slash organic feel to it. Whoa. 
One Eternity Later. Wow, this print turned out awesome. Turned out great, nearly flawless. And now I gotta clean this thing up and see if I can get this to fit the rock. Alright, the print's cleaned up. Now I gotta try to fit this rock in there without breaking anything. And uh, this actually turned out to be a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be because I made the tolerances very low and uh, it's an incredibly snug fit, but I eventually get it in. Right, so I've almost got it, and there we go, right there, it just kind of snapped into place, and it fit super snug. This thing is solid. The thickest part of the print is about five millimeters, so it's a really rigid plastic, and it was printed with zero infill, so it's one solid piece. This rock is not going anywhere anytime soon. And here comes the inspector. My little guy. Daddy, you gotta hurt your feet. You gotta hurt your feet. Yeah. Well, so it sits the rock the way I want it in the tank. Daddy. Now be careful on your feet, okay? Okay. You gotta hurt your feet. So you gotta hurt your feet. So you gotta hurt your feet. Go put your crowd side. Hey, then you go put your crowd side. Think of it that way. So I'm wearing sandals and he wants me to wear Crocs. We just taught him that uh, to protect your feet outside, you've got to put something on them. So I love when he comes outside and corrects me because I'm just wearing sandals out in the garage. You may have seen this already, but with the rock finally complete, I get it into the flute bowl. So that wraps up this video. This was the first time I ever scanned a rock and then 3D printed out some sort of structure to go with it and then get it into a tank. Since doing this first one, I've actually created several more and uh, I filmed those as well. So I will be making a few more videos where I do something similar, but I make a totally different style rock. So if you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you live in the next video.